Hi guys, very good evening. This video is for you guys, members of Squadron 624 Nano Owners Club. So yeah, I have finally fitted the three point seat belts for the rear seat uh, in the Tata Nano Gen X. Basically, this Gen X Nano has the provision for three three point seat belts. Especially if you look at the C pillar over here, you may have a cutout over here. So that cutout can be cut off, and that is where the three point seat belts have to be mounted so what i have done basically uh, is that uh, i have used the exact same factory fit buckles this uh, buckle these buckles are exactly the same what i have done is that replace the actual belts so you can see that this belt goes down inside the seats and uh, i have removed the uh, factory fitted lap belt so uh, on the mount of the lap belt, lap belt itself, I have mounted this three point seat belt. The lower end, the lower end has to be bolted onto that exact mount onto the chassis. And then this is the buckle over here, which is flexible. And uh, the motor, the inertia reel is mounted into the boot itself. So, opening the boot. So, yeah, this is the boot area. Just put that over there. And you can see that the inertia reel has been neatly integrated into the body shell itself so that it is not exposed outside you can see on the right side that you don't see any sort of inertia reel or anything but actually the reel is located over here behind this uh, grill uh, but sadly this grill on the next uh, gen x nano it cannot be replaced so uh, well i cannot do anything with that so that's why it is slightly protruding but inside you can see the inertia reel over there the inertia reel is mounted over there using customized clamps and uh, panels uh, some sort of fabrication had to be done over there and the seat belts then go up uh, into this body panel this plastic it goes inside that the top mount is over here somewhere and from there the seat belt is actually popped out so same thing goes on the right side the inertia reel is located inside this panel you cannot remove that you cannot even see that so this inertia reel had to be stuffed inside by cutting some sort of metal the metal part the body shell had to be cut out slightly to put that inside and then the same thing has been done on the right side as well you can basically see the body shell on the inside this is the body in white so that is that is how the three point seat belts can be fitted onto the rear seats of the nano Basically, there is actually a provision for the top mount where you have to uh, bolt. You have to literally drill the body shell and weld the bolt over there for the top uh, mount of the seat belt. Uh, there is actually a round on this area. If you remove this plastic panel, you can see that. So that is where you have to drill the body and uh, weld it for mounting the seat belt top mount. So this is rather an easy process to say, but uh, for fabricating the panels uh, and the clamps for mounting the inertia reel onto inside the body shell itself, you have to do some sort of uh, customization. It took uh, for me three to four days in total. And I feel it is actually worth it because the rear seats now look much better. So let me just arrange it properly. And that is how it is. So this definitely looks more premium than the ugly lap belts which were just uh, flabbing around onto the rear seats. So this is much better and I like this. So what do you feel? How do you think is it worth it or not? Do let me know.